As technology continues to develop and regulations shift toward digital record keeping, technology is becoming increasingly important in the healthcare field. With this growth comes the need for employees who can manage healthcare technology and information systems. But what does that mean? There are two important parts of healthcare technology, the hardware and software that help medical facilities run, and the information technology that helps facilities collect, maintain, and protect digital records. So the two common fields of study are one, technology systems, and two, health information technology. Let's discuss the differences between the two. Healthcare technology and systems. These two fields have many things in common. They both deal with technology and computers, so it's a plus to be comfortable with basic computer functions. Employees in both fields are likely to work with computer software that contains healthcare information, and both need to know how to keep patient information private and secure. Healthcare technology and systems focuses on the hardware and software necessary to keep a healthcare facility running. This includes general IT tasks like providing desktop and software support, staffing the IT help desk, and troubleshooting. Healthcare technology and systems also focuses on managing the flow of information and the design of the information systems. People in this field may also work with electronic healthcare records. Healthcare information technology. Health information technology focuses more on the information management systems that house electronic healthcare records. They may run reports, retrieve medical information in line with healthcare laws and regulations, and evaluate records for accuracy and quality. Overall, they focus on maintaining a facility's information system so that healthcare records are created, stored, and protected appropriately. Entry-level jobs and environments. Both healthcare technology and healthcare information technology prepare students for a variety of entry-level jobs. These include clinical documentation specialist, document imaging technician, health information clerk, medical records analyst, medical records coordinator, and patient access representative. The roles available in health technology and systems include electronic health records, help desk analyst, medical software technician, application support specialist, medical records clerk, and medical office associate. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, these positions are typically available in doctor's offices, hospitals, nursing homes, medical clinics, insurance companies, surgical centers, and medical hardware or software companies. Skills needed. The health information technology field requires specific skills. Medical records and health information technicians should have analytical skills, an attention to detail, interpersonal skills, and technical skills. For healthcare technology and systems, computer support specialists should have customer service skills, an ability to listen, creative problem solving skills, good communication skills, and an ability to write well. Education requirements. If you want to become a medical records or health information technician, you'll likely need a post-secondary certificate or an associate degree in health information technology, KT4. These programs typically include classes on medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, healthcare coding, health data requirements, and healthcare computer systems. Education requirements vary for computer support specialists working in health technology and systems, KT5. Some employers require a post-secondary degree like an associate or bachelor's degree, while others are satisfied with non-degree earning computer-related classes. For highly technical positions, the employer may require a bachelor's degree or more in a specific area of study like information science or computer science. Certification. People working in healthcare technology and systems may need certification depending on the employer. Certification programs in this field are typically offered by third-party vendors or neutral providers. Those looking to become a computer support specialist should check with potential employers to see what they require. Health information technology certifications include the Registered Health Information Technician Exam, offered through the American Health Information Management Association. Certification exams typically have their own set of eligibility requirements set by the certifying body, and students will need to meet these requirements to sit for the exam. Now that you have a better understanding of both fields, we hope you'll have an idea which one is right for you. If you'd like to enter one of these fields, now is a great time to get certified. Visit our site today to learn more, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.